show on Fox is sponsored by Credible. And the celebration in Atlanta. Back at their home park and just outside of the battery. And there's the battery. <laughs> Darno and Will Smith coming together at the end of a 7-0 win by Atlanta here in Game 6. Home, and we'll send it down to the stage in Kevin Burker. Joe, thank you very much. The commissioner, Rob Manfred, is here. And I look out to a sea of Braves fans. And let me introduce who's on the podium with us. Terry McGurk, the chairman of the Atlanta Braves. Derek Schiller, president and CEO. Brian Snicker, the manager and the rest of the world champion. Atlanta Braves! After a great 2021 season and a dramatic postseason, it's my honor and pleasure to present the Commissioner's Trophy to the World Series champion Atlanta Braves and their CEO, Terry McGurk. feel to hold that trophy oh my gosh it's been 26 years the fans here are unbelievable i gotta thank snit this team they overcame unbelievable things to get here alex you all know the story of alex an unbelievable decision making mid-year the fans are back in atlanta dancing in the streets we filled truest park tonight and they're going wild and we can't wait to get back and celebrate with them but i want to thank Two angels that are up there tonight say, made sure this happened. Hank Aaron and Phil Necro, thank you boys for having us win this thing tonight. World champs. Well said. Thank you. Congrats. Okay, thanks. Let's go over to the manager, Brian Snicker. Brian, you are a Braves lifer. You started your career as a player in the organization. You were coaching in the minors the last time this team won a World Series. I can't even imagine what this feels like for you. Um, I'm numb. I'm numb. Um, this is the greatest, greatest thing in the world. Uh, Braves country, we appreciate you and love you. We love you. Because we couldn't do it without you. And these guys up here, they love and appreciate you all also, man. It's just so, honey, honey, we did it. <laughs> no, this is awesome. You know, when, when, when I think of this team, I think of resiliency. I mean, you, you lost one of your best players in the middle of the summer. And, and then you're trying to just get to 500. And, and then so many things it comes out in the last week of the regular season just to win the division. How did you do it? Uh, they, uh, these guys never gave up on themselves. We used a lot of guys. We lost a lot of a lot of pieces over the course of the summer, and it was just the next man up. I mean, it was these guys never stopped believing in themselves. They never stopped working. Our coaching staff, my God, I got the I got a rock star coaching staff that made you know that made sure these guys stay consistent every day, and they always played the game the way you're supposed to play it with a lot of emotion and give themselves a chance to be here on this stage right now. It's been uh, 26 years. Obviously, you were in the organization. How does this feel? Organization-wide, you can speak to it. No, it is. It takes a lot to make this happen. And our, I'm very proud of our organization, proud of this club, and there is nothing better. We're world champions. Congrats, yeah. Ryan. Thank you. Why don't, we, uh, why don't we hear from Mr. Bray, Freddie Freeman? What do you guys think? dream of a moment like this this is what you dream about every single year we come into spring training wanting this to happen and it happened this year Freddie you know you were a lake you when you first came up you had a couple playoff teams and then you went through some rough years and now you're on the top of the top 
How did you do it, and what's most gratifying about this ride? Uh, I think the most gratifying thing is this team, we hit every pothole, every bump you could possibly hit this year. Injuries, every single kind of thing that could have happened, that could go wrong, went wrong, and we overcame every single one of those things. This group, we came every single day, prepared and worked and worked and worked, and we ended up November 2nd, world champions. What does this mean for the city of Atlanta? I think it means everything. Uh, we've been waiting for a championship in this city for a long time, and I'm glad we delivered it. Last thing, how cool is it that one day you get to tell your grandkids that not only did you win, but you hit a home run in the decisive game of the World Series? That's that's pretty cool. I, I, I saw my family jumping up and down when I, when I was rounding the bases, so I'm, I'm glad I was able to help. Freddie Freeman, ladies and gentlemen. Congrats, Freddie. Okay, we've got another trophy to hand out. The Willie Mays World Series MVP presented by Chevrolet, Jorge Soler. Jorge's here with his interpreter, Franco Garcia, and Jorge... I think back to the history of the World Series, there's only been one other Cuban MVP, Levon Hernandez did it. What does that mean to you to be the second ever Cuban MVP? <laughs> Solo el segundo cubano que ha ganado este premio, el otro era Iván Hernández. Cuéntanos la emoción que tienes de saber que eres el único otro cubano que ha ganado este premio. Bueno, estoy muy emocionado. Primeramente, gracias a Dios por darme la oportunidad de estar aquí en este equipo y muy orgulloso de ser el segundo cubano. Uh, obviously, I'm very excited. Thanks to God for the opportunity to be on this team, and I'm extremely excited to be the second Cuban born player to win this award. Well, hey, tell me about your at bat. You had a couple foul balls against Garcia. Looks like you were seeing the ball well against him, and then you hit one out of the stadium. How did you do it? O sea, eso, durante ese turno de luteo, este, le pegaste un par de, par de bolas, pero entonces eventualmente la sacaste. Cuéntanos qué está pasando durante ese turno de bateo y cómo la sacaste así. En ese turno estaba bien enfocado, eh, él me había tirado casi ya todos los picheos que tenía. Eh, le di como dos pavos en tres y dos, eh, en tres y dos, y me tiró, se le quedó el slide jangueado y le pude conectar ese batazo. I was just really focused during that bat. I feel like he had thrown me every pitch that he had his arsenal. So I just kept fouling the pitches off, eventually got into that 3-2 count, and he hung the slider, and I was able to drive it. Jorge, congratulations. The World Series MVP, Jorge Soler. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the fun. And the World Champion Braves, back on top. Let's go back upstairs. Kevin, thank you very much. There's the final 7 to nothing in Game 6. Solaire, Jack Peterson celebrating. Max Fried gets the win. And the series came back to Houston only to see the Atlanta Braves take it. And I get to sit here. It's the sixth World Series that you and I have had the chance to do together. But now we're doing it uh, with the Atlanta Braves winning. You were a part of it the last time they won it. And now here we are in 2021. What does this mean to the organization, to the city, to you? You know, it's funny because all the World Series we've done, it seems like droughts are disappearing. There was a pretty long drought after our organization won a lot. And I can tell you for the city of Atlanta, this goes a long way because there hasn't been a lot of major championships. And I got to say this, last year was incredible in the fact that we played baseball. But it is special when the fans are back. And in every city we played in, the fans were electric, Houston, Atlanta, Boston. Baseball's better when the fans are in the stands. Yeah, good point. And uh, you're right. These two stadiums were absolutely rocking the entire World Series. And the Braves win it on the road with a packed stadium back in Atlanta watching every pitch and every out and every home run. And now watching Brian Snicker and the Braves hoist the Commissioner's Trophy back with more celebration after this. On my travels across the country,